Hello there guys and welcome to Student Meals. In this episode I'm going to take a classic mashed potatoes and show you how to pimp them up and make them a bit more exciting with some carrots and of course a leek. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you enjoy this episode. So the ingredients are potatoes. As many as you like. I'm going to go for roughly six potatoes, a couple of carrots, one humongous leek. Jesus, look at this. It's like a baby's arm holding an apple. <laughs> I'm probably just going to use half of it and save the other half for later. A couple of cloves of garlic to give the mashed potatoes that extra flavor. A little bit of butter, a little bit of whole milk. And for the seasoning, you can pretty much use whatever you like. I'm going to use, of course, some pepper and some salt. And I also occasionally like to add a little bit of nutmeg. Let's do this. So first, we're going to start off by preparing our leek. We have the one giant one, so I'm just going to cut it in half. Huh. Damn, didn't I sharp my knife? <laughs> It's sharp, all right. So, attempt number two. Jesus, that's one tough leak. Cut the tip off. Hmm. That one better. And I'm just going to check my other outer leaves and they're not great. So I'm just going to cut it in two and remove the outer leaf. Now I'm planning to use only this part. So I'm just going to cut it in two. I'm going to cut it into chunks like this. There we go. So what you want to do next is take a strainer or a bowl and rinse your leek under a running tap or fill a bowl with water and rinse it in that to make sure that everything is nice and dirt free. Shake off the excess water and then just set them aside. So back to the cutting board. So as you can see, I've peeled the carrots and the potatoes and now I'm just going to cut them up into smaller pieces so that they cook faster. You can always leave the skin on and the potatoes and the carrots whole as just a way of cooking them. For the carrots, I'm just going to take, I thought I was going to take like the full round pieces, but in hindsight, they look a bit big. So I'm just going to cut them in two and then into chunks. Put them in a pot and now I'm just going to cut the potatoes roughly the same size. I like to pre-cut them because it's a bit easier for the next steps. For the garlic, just remove the skin and trim off the ends and add them to the pot as well. Fill the pot with water and put it on the fire. Bring it to a boil and let it cook until the potatoes and the carrots are almost done because that's when we're going to add in the leeks. So I've checked and my potatoes and carrots are almost done. It's time to add the leeks and let them cook for another 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, the leeks, the carrots and the potatoes are done. Turn off the fire and then we're just going to strain it. So I took another pot and scooped the carrots and most of the leeks in there because I'm going to add it back into the mashed potatoes later on because I'm not going to mash the carrots. I like it that way you can mash everything together if you want, but I like some chunks in there. And I've also set some potatoes aside for the same purpose. Take a good chunk of butter Add it in there, add a good amount of milk. A pro mashed potato tip, if you want your potatoes to be silky and smooth, add more milk than butter because that way they'll get nice and creamy or just add half and half or whatever you like. Then take your masher and mash away. While you're mashing, season them with some pepper, salt and of course some nutmeg to taste. If you were wondering where's the garlic, you don't have to take it out, just mash it in the potatoes. It will just give extra flavor to your dish. And now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. Take a spoon and give everything a nice thorough mix. At this point, if you think your potatoes are a bit too chunky, which I'm thinking, take my masher and run it three times or so through my potatoes, give it another mix. And there you have it. You have yourself some very delicious mashed potatoes pimped up with a little bit of leek and delicious carrots. 
So that way you have to worry less about eating your veg because your veg is already pretty much in the dish. Another quick tip for mashed potatoes, if you want to pimp them up even more, just add a little bit of meat gravy to it. It makes so much difference in your dish and makes your mashed potatoes and your whole dish so much more delicious. It completely changed the mashed potato for me. Maybe some of you already knew that, but for me it was like a mind blower. We don't usually make our own meat gravy, we just use one from pre-made packs, if you're interested. We're not sponsored by Knorr, but if you want to sponsor us Knorr, please look at this. Alright, enough of that. Let's taste this. Time for test us! Mm. It's yeast, it's it's steaming hot. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yes. Mmm. I immediately want to take a second bite. <laughs> it's really like very creamy, very soft. It's a bit sweet because of the carrot, but it's like not too sweet. I can imagine this would be very nice with some sausage or some chicken or some gravy. Just like good wintry food. So thank you guys for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. And as always, see you in the next one. Goodbye.